Okay, this is um, part one, basically, of a video about, uh, or an audio, uh, series one of two, um, about Kundalini and Prana. And I'm just going to kind of outline the process in general and my own particular experience, experiences, through my, from my own experiences and maybe kind of reference some of the traditional perspectives as well as I go along. Um, the first thing I want to say is that I began experiencing energies through doing martial arts. So I think this is definitely one pathway to energy cultivation and development, which is the martial arts, whether it's uh, soft martial arts or otherwise. I think this is definitely one pathway to energy cultivation and kundalini development. I started to, you know, I could sense when people were looking at me, I could feel their intentions and so on. Um, as I went further along, I began to read more spiritual kind of texts and works and so on and ultimately had a spiritual teacher. And that's when many of my whole process kind of unfolded, so to speak. Um, what I want to kind of talk about is that the my understanding of psychic energy, psychological energies, is uh, probably a little bit different than other kind of perspectives. I don't agree that it's uh, purely a biological or chemical phenomenon and I don't agree that it's necessarily a automatically a spiritual phenomenon. I do have come to the conclusion given all my experiences that um, there is such a thing as a physics of psychology and when I say that what I'm saying is is that psychology is physics. So what I mean is that in the human being if you try to say, well, what is a human being? What is the composition of a human being? A human being is composed of solids, liquids, gases, and plasmas. And I, there may be other substances as well, which are more of a soul or spiritual nature, but the main thing we need to start with, we need to have a jumping off point, a point of departure that we start in the right place. Now, how does this physics of psychology work? There are five stages. One stage, the first stage is energy transformation. The second is energy absorption. The third is energy circulation. The fourth is energy clearing. And the fifth is energy utilization. Now, I'm just going to give a basic outline of each of these uh, points to keep this video as short as possible. So, <clears throat> or this audio as short as possible. Energy transformation happens when the sexual fluids are transformed into gases. What then happens is those energies go up the, the back of the spine or they go up the, it seems like, up the front of the body. And they tend to either do one of two things. When they go up the spine, they, they seem to go through channels horizontal to the spine and open up energy processes within. When they go along the front of the body, the, the energies tend to coalesce in the solar plexus and in the head. And then what happens is energy absorption. This is where automatic or natural pranayamas occur. What happens is, is one starts breathing in gases other than oxygen. And they, same thing, they, they tend to coalesce either along this line following the spine along the front and the back of the body or they center in the solar plexus and in the head. As this process continues happening um, over time what happens is energy there's this the, the energy circulation is happening energy is circulating to all parts of one's life and as this happens um, energy clearing happens. And what energy clearing is the, this, the side of the kundalini, which is the kundalini fire or the, 
even in the worst case is the dark night of the soul where everything comes to the surface mental emotional physical everything and everything is cleansed from one's life from one's system completely I mean total purification and one has to if one starts the process one needs to finish it because depending on the individual it could be a very intense process and then the the final stage is energy utilization which I, one thing I want to point out is all of these stages can be happening at the same time and they can all kind of happen sequentially but I wanted to give just kind of an overview of the process and I'll continue talking about it in uh, the next audio video.